there was a situation involving Ronald Acuna Jr. That's the it, story I was getting at. You get nailed it. And it sounded like this last night. Got a commotion out in right field where a fan has run on the field. And Huck, uh, Ronald Acuna, now Acuna goes down and his teammates are racing to his aid. But I don't know that there's going to be any need for that because security has grabbed that person and pinned him on the ground. It might be more than one. I couldn't tell if they went out there looking to hug Ronald or attack Ronald. Well, they had their arms around him. I know that. One guy's fighting to get away, and they may have to tie him down. Goodness, this is a mess. They're carrying this guy off, and he is fighting them every inch of the way, heading toward the bullpens. Now they get him down. They're going to need to cuff that guy. Okay, so it's a road game in Colorado, and uh, Cunha Jr. is not quite sure as you see these fans coming on the field. Are they uh, friendly fire? Are they coming there to uh, say hello? Are they going to hug? Are they drunk? Are they all the above? And then security uh, took them down, took them out. I, I think in a situation like that, to be fair to the security people, if somebody comes on the field, they've, they've entered an area where they shouldn't be. Therefore, you have to abide by our rules. And our rules are we're going to take you down and take you out. Um, now, you can say if Morgana, the kissing bandit, if you're old enough to remember, when she ran onto the field and she would go uh, to Nolan Ryan on the mound and give him a kiss, that's a lot different. You knew she was going to do it. It was staged. But you're seeing these players. Remember the White Sox game where the first base coach got roughed up by a dad and his son jumped onto the uh, field there. I think you got to assume that person is not out there for uh, friendly fire, just to say hello. If they're coming out there, then they have to realize you're in, in our field of play and you're going to abide by our rules. Yes, Todd? Yeah, you have to assume the worst case scenario because if for some reason you didn't act right away or knock this person down in those few extra seconds, was the difference this person's got a weapon on him or something? How is everyone going to feel and how does everyone react? If, why didn't you immediately take this guy down? What are you just kind of mulling around trying to wait and see what this person does? Yes, yeah, Seaton. But don't, you know, I remember, it makes me think of one time years and years and years ago, the Danettes went out to film a bit. And we went to a local hardware store okay. and we tried to film something very, very quickly. And then security came out and we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? And we we're like, all right. Yeah. Like we didn't get clearance to do it, but we just wanted to do it. But the guy wasn't like stopping us for branding reasons. He actually said to us, hey, man, post 9-11, you never know. Oh. Okay. So post 9-11, you're right. I'm sure that people are targeting a hardware store in Milford, Connecticut. Uh, I guess technically it's something to worry about, but not in reality. You know what I mean? Like just because something can happen doesn't mean that you have to treat everything with the utmost severity. Yes, Pauline? It, I, I got a clip of the Acuna play, and it's it's in the away fans. The fan who runs on from the, from the onto the field, he doesn't feel threatening. He's got like a, he's smiling, and Acuna kind of like, like is nervous, and then the guy wants a selfie, and Acuna puts his arm around him like, I'll get this for you because it's an uncomfortable situation. The first security guard is barreling out, and he has to like grab the guy while he's in an embrace with Acuna, which makes it even more weird. And as the other security guys get there, they're they're getting physical with him, but you know they're grabbing by the leg, they're grabbing by the other thing. Another fan runs, and Acuna doesn't see him. He gets on his back, and they all tumble over together. Now you've got like six guys on the ground. These guys look friendly and not uh, threatening, but it's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell for these guys. Yeah, I don't think you can sit there in the moment and go, uh, I think I think he's he's he means he's he's friendly. He's uh, just wants a selfie. You don't want to encourage people. Hey, I know you're just out there to get a selfie. So the next person who comes out to get a selfie, then you're going to go, okay, get the selfie, hurry up, and then we'll escort you off. I I just think you have to establish boundaries there that just say nope, nope. If you come out, we're going to put you on the ground. Uh, because we do not know who you are, and you shouldn't be out here in the first place. Because Acuna has no idea what's going on, no idea. And 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 if you have your back to the fans, or at least one, and you're going, I don't know what he's doing out here. Uh, I I think you got to be fair to the security people because that's their job, security. Now, do you take somebody out who's you know, you know blind, you know, clothesline tackle and stuff? I know. Sometimes it doesn't call for that, but in a situation like this, 
I would take him down and take him out. Yes, Ton. I think you've given up certain rights. Once you were stupid enough to climb, okay, if you're inebriated or whatever, you climb over that wall and you go on the field where you're not supposed to, you're already breaking the law. So I have no problem when you see these guys take somebody out unless they're showing off their prowess or their muscle and they're doing it for some other reason to see how they can knock someone over. You just Those precious few seconds could be the difference in a player getting hurt. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, see. The Internet is loaded with videos of people running up to, like, Ronaldo and Messi, right? And they all get a selfie. They all get the picture. That they're, they're like, okay, just chill out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Th- those are two players who are infinitely more famous than Ronald Acuna Jr., but I mean, by a, just an, a global scale, they're massively more famous, and they're able to handle it uh, with a certain amount of grace. Yeah, Paul. I think that's got to be the toughest thing for a security person if you see an eleven-year-old versus a twenty-two-year-old. Nah, deck him. Yeah, like <laughs> hey, you don't know what that kid's got. But like, you see eleven-year-old, you see the security guard put their arm out, but then the kid's eleven and he's got tears. But then you see a guy and he's a grown man. You got to treat him differently. And these security guards, who knows what policy it is, team by team. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if there's a somebody who works security at a, at a stadium, they could let us know. Are there different rules in different stadiums? Or is it sort of a universal, somebody goes on the field, then you know you bring him to the ground. I, I mean, I'm not saying that you, uh, if you remember Mike Curtis, who played for the Colts, somebody came on the field and he just leveled them with a tackle. <laughs> leveled them. Uh, I'm not saying that every moment should be like that. I think it's you got to judge who's coming on the field and uh, what are they doing? What are they carrying? Are they saying anything? Because we, we've seen people just run on the field just to run onto the field. Now, that's another one where they're not running up to a player. They just want to be seen. If you just want to be seen when you're running onto the field, I'm sorry. I have to take you out. How about we let streakers streak only if they're fully naked? Because these partial naked streakers are the worst. You, they're not committing at all. Hmm. Mm. Go full streak. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, Seton. That's I've told you before about my buddy Greg growing up who uh, had would run out at Yankee games yeah. and he was banned from the stadium. Yeah. And he did it, one, because he, I think, wanted the attention. But he loved just the thought of how long can I stay out there and can I hit a security guard? Like, okay. he wanted the confrontation of, like, uh, of with the security. It had nothing to do with, like, the game or anything like that. He was a massive Yankee fan. But he wanted how long can I avoid them? And then can we scrap a little bit? But how can you be a massive Yankee fan if you're willing to disrupt the game yeah. and you want to take a shot at a security guard at Yankee State? Hey, look, I'm not saying that can explain the thought process. <laughs> I'm just saying that was my understanding of this fellow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was with a Big friend. Greg. I was with a friend. And it was, we had moved down at Riverfront Stadium. So we were up in the red seats. We had moved down to the blue, and it was like seventh or eighth inning. And I remember him saying to me, maybe, maybe I should just run out. On, how much would you give me to run out on the field? And I remember going, uh, I, I didn't think in the moment where I'm going, you shouldn't do that. I'm like, I don't know, 50 bucks? He goes, you swear, 50? And I'm going, Oh my! And then he was getting ready to jump and go out on the field. And then he did. And he goes, no, no, I can't get arrested. Because he, he was going to college. He goes, I can't get arrested. And I said, oh, okay. And in the moment, you're not even thinking. Obviously, with a couple of beers in you. Yes, Todd? I don't see a big difference between we think it's cute and it's a bowl game and everyone's having a good time. But that's like, how much would you give me to break into this person's house? Or let me steal this jewelry from the... Uh, well, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, you're breaking the law. Once you jump over the wall. I, I, there's, I know, but you break the law when you run a stop sign. It, you know, like it's not the same as somebody breaking into your house. I also think a kid should be knocked over just as hard <laughs> as an adult. So that's why I, you know, you, I heard there was something on the news a while ago that an elementary school kid shot his teacher. So I don't care if you're 8 or you're 88. You do something that stupid, you should be taken out. 88 would be awesome. 88, I, I don't think you have to that take would them be incredible. out. incredible. <laughs> fell out there just trying to get the first thing. That's what you get. Here's another broken hip. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I want to get a selfie with you. I'm an advocate for these things. To take the 88-year-old oh. out? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the older or younger, the better. The more hilarious. Like car- cardigan <laughs> buttons flying in the air. They go viral. Think of all the likes and the clicks. Yeah. <laughs> the likes and the clicks.